You're listening to Teach Me the Bible podcast, where we unpack the meaning of books, passages, and themes from Scripture. Join us each week as Dr. David Klingler walks us through God's Word and teaches the Bible. Each episode has a study guide available in the show notes. This is Teach Me the Bible podcast. Hello, everyone. My name is Tim Webb. I'm here with Dr. David Klingler for our Teach Me the Bible podcast. We want to welcome you today. Uh, Our desire is helping the people of God understand the Word of God. And we also want to encourage you to download our app from any app store as well as you can download our Apple TV or Roku app. But with every episode, we want to remind you as well that we have a study guide for continued growth and other resources like articles, blog posts, uh, also an opportunity for them to ask you questions, David, and uh, just as we're walking through the story of the Bible. But again, uh, you can uh, go to teachmethebible.com and um, check that out. And so, David, today we are going back to our discussion of First John, the first Apostle John. John yeah. and uh, first of all, all that stuff you just said, yes, two two years ago, Five years ago, I wouldn't have understood a word of it. Now I understand like a few words in there. It makes I saw some you sense. tracking yeah, with just, me. You're just going, like, okay, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Podcast. I don't know what yeah. a podcast. When we started this thing, I don't know what a podcast. I mean, I, I, I think I, I'd heard the word. I didn't know what a podcast yeah. was, and and certainly not doing yeah. one. What yeah. on earth is that? You know. And so anyway, <laughs> it's funny how fast uh, the world's changing. Um, but, Way to uh, put on the brakes and go back to the memory days. Yeah, you know, back right. In the beginning, Just crazy man. how much uh, the world <laughs> changed and how we, uh, how much teaching the Bible and, and communicating the Bible yeah. has, has changed. Yeah. But this is a great, uh, what a great tool. Yeah, it, it can be overwhelming, the thought of what's been afforded us, like yeah. never before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In history, man. And the, the ability to take uh, what we're doing and, uh, and, and help people all over the world Mm-hmm. Um, understand the Bible mm-hmm. is uh, uh, it's one thing to think. Well, you're just teaching a small group, so if you're if you're an idiot, you're only messing up a few people. But now, <laughs> now you can be messing up. Accountability's gone through the roof. You messed up the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I just literally last weekend. I, I guess it was Friday, Saturday night, sometime. Uh, friend was traveling to see their their grandkids in Japan, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Got a text. Hey, there's a question about how they're approaching scripture here, huh. different denomination. And our daughter in law really is hungry for the word. Asked me some questions, went back and said, huh. Hey, by the way, download our app, huh. Teach Me the Bible. And we'll do it. We'll get on it right now. Yeah. And so the whole family uh, just locking have a, in. have a group in Canada, mm-hmm. uh, Hungary, um, mm-hmm. Poland. Mm-hmm. Uh, all, I mean, all over. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got a one of our students is uh, is uh, this summer pastoring a church in Kuwait, mm-hmm. and so just you know, amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, how the world's changed so quickly. But anyway, but back to yeah. so so back to to uh, to First John. Um, as we have said uh, in weeks past, First John is one of those uh, those books where mm-hmm. uh, it's just so all over the place, mm-hmm. and and I remember. Um, Years ago, in seminary class, thinking for the first time about pronouns, and, mm-hmm. and it was it was in uh, Dr. Charlie Bayless's class, and and it was a Second Peter, and in all kinds of interpretations of Second Peter, and and uh, we just noticed that there are pronouns in this letter. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking, that. right? Right. Uh, in and, a letter, uh, yeah, in a letter, and uh, we realized this this earth shattering new reality that people use pronouns to refer to people and places and things. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what an amazing revelation, right? right, right. Uh, that, that I doesn't mean you. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and we, you know, we kind of laugh and, you know, kind of make fun of it. But really, when an author says I, he means I yeah, like himself. Yeah, himself. Mm. Um, and 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 we go well. Duh, that's obvious. Well, but one of the verses that I hear quoted more than any are, "I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me," which is what Paul wrote to the Philippians. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say y'all can do all things through Christ who strengthens y'all. Mm-hmm. And so we have this bad habit of 
of if we like the verse or mm-hmm. if the verse aligns with our theology, we just take it, mm-hmm. right? And if we don't like it, we're like, oh, nope, never heard of that one, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. so, and so there are four groups uh, in, this, uh, in this, this letter. Uh, I, John, uh, we or us, right, referring mm-hmm. to uh, the apostles um, believing Israel uh, mm-hmm. and 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 those within believing Israel who actually saw, heard, touched mm-hmm. um, Christ. Y'all, uh, believers mm-hmm. who have believed the words of the apostles, uh, them, them are the antagonists, the bad guys, the false teachers, um, and and they claim to have fellowship with God. They claim to keep the commands. They claim to have all of these things, but they reject Christ. And so, Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, then the last group is the world. Uh, Then there's one more pronoun in here that we probably need to pay attention to. And that's the third person masculine singular going, Oh gosh, what are we talking about here? (laughs) Uh, He or him, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, back in uh, chapter one, this is the message which we have heard from him and announced to Mm y'all. That God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, yet walk in darkness, we lie and uh, do not do the truth. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, and uh, as we talked about, Mm -hmm. light equals life, Mm -hmm. we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son. Mm -hmm. And so the him, his son, it's the father, Mm -hmm. right? And so... Both uh, we, the apostles, Mm -hmm. and they, the false teachers, are claiming to have fellowship with him. This isn't an issue about fellowship with Christ. It's an issue. Yeah, yeah. 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 And and some groups Mm -hmm. have made about Mm -hmm. that. It's an issue about having fellowship with the Father. Who has true fellowship with the Father? Mm -hmm. It only comes through Christ. And so so there's our... Our categories. Now, the way to think about this is uh, the, the letters written to the U group. And the U group, these mm-hmm. Jewish believers, are being <clears throat> conflicted to either listen to the apostles or listen to them. So John's saying, listen to us, listen to them. Mm-hmm. Y'all are from God. He who is from God listens to us. us. They are from the world. Mm-hmm. And the world listens to them. And so y'all need to test the spirits. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two spirits that are working, the spirit of Christ and the spirit of Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Uh, The anointing which you have from him. uh, Now, this goes back to the upper room discourse where there are two things that are going to testify concerning Christ. The spirit, which the, which the you know, which the mm-hmm. son and the uh, father both are sending, but the the spirit is going to testify concerning Christ and you, uh, Jesus talking mm-hmm. to his disciples, and and you y'all will testify concerning Christ concerning me, uh, and so in this book you have two things testifying concerning Christ, the spirit and the apostles, mm-hmm. uh, and so test the spirits to see mm-hmm. if they're from God. That's chapter four, right? Mm-hmm. So we're kind right. of just laying the groundwork yes. for where this is going. So so he says in chapter two, verse one, uh, my little children, if I, I'm writing these things uh, so that you may not sin. If anyone sins, he has an advocate, a, 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 a paraclete, a, a defense attorney with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. We have a advocate. They don't. Mm-hmm. If you have fellowship with us, we have an advocate. Mm-hmm. They don't. don't. You want to go over there where you have no advocate, mm-hmm. um, where you have no removal of sin, uh, and, and so that that's not uh, that's not smart. Don't do that. So mm-hmm. he himself is the satisfaction, propitiation uh, of our sins, and not only for our sins, but for the sins of the whole world. And so their only hope. And the world's only hope Mm -hmm. is through Christ, who they're rejecting. Mm -hmm. They reject Christ. The world rejects Christ. That's because they have the spirit of Antichrist. That's by definition Mm -hmm. what the uh, spirit of... This is Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and denies the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father. Whoever confesses the Son has the Father also. That's going to be later in this chapter. And so Mm -hmm. they have the spirit of Antichrist. And so... Uh, Christ isn't only the satisfaction, propitiation, payment 
for our sins, but for theirs as well. But if they reject him, they have no payment, no mm-hmm. satisfaction, no, uh, no propitiation. <clears throat> so, verse uh, 3, and by this we know that we... That, see, that's the power of conception. I, I cough, you cough. <coughs> Excuse yeah, me. <laughs> get it out of your, uh, out of your out. system. Uh, uh, by this, we know mm-hmm. that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. Now, we say you need to keep his commandments, mm-hmm. uh, and, um, and they say you need to keep his commandments, right? They, the false teaching, yeah. rejecting the Christ, but the Jew, they're Jewish, they're mm-hmm. Jews. Mm-hmm. For the one who says, I have come to know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And you can hear the antagonist over there saying, amen, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. exactly what we would say, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that the one who says, I've come to know him, but does not keep his commandments. And so so the antagonist, uh, the law keeper, is saying, you have to keep the commands. You, you have to keep the law. Um, now, when we broaden our scope, the, 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 the law was given um, later in the Old Testament. The, the, the solution to this whole problem was Christ. And we're going to get to this in chapter 3, mm-hmm. that that one, the Christ, appeared in order to take away sins, and sin in him there is none. And so when Adam and Eve were banished from the garden, removed from the tree of life, uh, the anticipation, the anticipated solution was this one who would appear. Mm-hmm. And the, the law, the commands, the sacrificial system was added, Paul says, because of transgression. Well, what, what does that mean? Uh, it, it, they were supposed to love the Lord to God with all their heart, with all their soul, and love their uh, neighbor as themselves, their brothers themselves. Uh, and that's not new. But they claimed to be doing it, but weren't. Mm-hmm. It's like when you have a kid and you say, go clean your room, and they go in there and they throw all the junk under the bed and yes. throw it in the closet. And, yeah. uh, and so so you have to start to say, no, no, that's not cleaning your room. Cleaning your room means getting everything out from under your bed, mm-hmm. all the clothes folded neatly. Put it in place. Yep, 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 yep. yep. That, so, so you got to start to, you know, delineate, articulate what it means to, uh, to clean your room, what it means to, lo- here's mm-hmm. what love the Lord your God looks like. Uh, it doesn't look like following other gods. You shall not follow other gods. You shall not make anything in the image of God, mm-hmm. right? Um, you, you you shall not, uh, uh, you know, go uh, play the harlot to other gods. You're, this is, he is the Lord your God, and he is the one who's going to, uh, and, and you're uh, to, to love one another, right? Well, can I hate him a little? No, you can't hate him a little. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> In fact, Stop it. You, you, you have to go care for them. You, mm-hmm. you, are, you are required to love them. Well, I don't like that. See, well, that's the problem. So, so the law was added so that you would see your sin. Mm-hmm. And there was provision in the law for your inability to keep it. Mm-hmm. The sacrificial system was a placeholder that covered your sin atoned for it until the promised one would come. Mm -hmm. And so this is the word we've heard from the beginning. This isn't new. Uh, There's not a new command. It's the same old command, but it is a new command because things have changed. In other words, the Old Testament command was follow the law which led you to Christ. Uh, Now the New Testament command uh, is Christ is here. Right, the 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 mm-hmm. the shadow. I'm, I'm quoting Hebrews. The mm-hmm. shadow, the partial, the placeholder, right. uh, is now fulfilled uh, in Christ, and so uh, and so this is where he's headed. And uh, by this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandment. And the one who says I have uh, come to know him, but does not keep his commandment, is a liar, and the truth isn't in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him the love of God has been truly perfected. By this we know that we are in him. How do we? The apostles know that we are in him because we keep his commands uh, and his love is perfected in us. The one who says he abides in him ought to walk in the same manner as he walked. He walked in life, he walked in light, and we ought to walk in the same. Mm -hmm. Beloved, I'm not writing a new command to you, but an old command, uh, which which you've had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you've heard. So I, I, I'm not saying anything new. This right. is the same you old once. It's, this is a story. Mm-hmm. It's the same mm-hmm. story, mm-hmm. Right? right? On the other hand, I am writing a new command uh, to you, which is true in him and in you, right? In mm-hmm. him uh, and in you. 
uh, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. The true light that gives light to every man mm-hmm. that comes right out of First John mm-hmm. has appeared. And so things have changed in this story. The appearance of the promised one has changed things. And so there's no going back. So the one who says he's in the light, in life, mm-hmm. uh, in, uh, in fellowship with the Father, yet hates his brother, is in darkness until now. The one who loves his brother abides in the light in life, and there is no cause for stumbling in him. Uh, but the one who hates his brother is, uh, is in darkness, is of death, and walks in death, walks in darkness. Uh, we, we get those definitions from the Gospel of John, mm-hmm. that, uh, that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was mm-hmm. in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and apart from him, nothing came into being, which is coming into being. In him was life. And life was the light of men. Mm-hmm. And so life equals light mm-hmm. and darkness uh, is death. And, and one of the things that happens in the, the interpretation of, the, uh, of 1 John is they make uh, light doing good stuff and darkness doing bad stuff. It redefines the terms mm-hmm. uh, per their theology rather than defining the terms by how John has consistently used them in all of his works. Mm-hmm. Right? And so light, life, darkness, uh, death. The one who hates his brother is in death, in darkness, and walks in death, and does not know where he is going because the death, the darkness has blinded his eyes. I'm writing to you, little children, because your sins have been forgiven you for his name's sake. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him uh, and uh, uh, who has been from the beginning. I'm writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. You've overcome the evil one through Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's going to say this later in the letter. Mm-hmm. I'm writing to you children because you know the Father. You know the Father because you know the Son. Mm-hmm. You have access to the Father because you have access to the Son. I'm, uh, I have written to you fathers because you know him who has been from the beginning. And I uh, have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abides in you mm-hmm. and have overcome the evil one. And so it's the word that abides in them, the word Old Testament word, the old command, Mm -hmm. the old story, personified in Christ, the word became flesh and tabernacle among us, and and we saw and we proclaimed to you and you believed. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so uh, the Spirit uh, convinced you, we convinced you, and so you have the Spirit. And so in chapter 4, he's going to say, test the spirits, right? So he's just, Mm -hmm. do not love the world, nor the things of the world. For if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life is not from the Father. Those things all began at the fall, Mm -hmm. right? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life, that didn't come from the Father. It came from sin. It came from the evil one. It came Mm -hmm. from the world. Uh, And and, uh, the Son appeared in order to take away the works of the devil. These were the result of the works of the Mm -hmm. devil. Mm -hmm. Uh, For all that is in the world, the lust of the eye, the, the lust of the... Uh, flesh, the boastful pride of life. It's not from the Father, it's from the world. Mm-hmm. And the world's passing away and it's lust. But the one who does the will of God abides forever. Well, what was the will of God from the very beginning? They're banished from the garden. The will of God was not um, um, don't eat fruit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what, how are we fixing this? Well, the will of God was always to believe in the Son and love one another as he commanded us. And, mm-hmm. and that's what he's going to, going to uh, say in chapter 3. Children, it's the last hour. Just as you've heard that Antichrist is coming, even now Antichrists have arisen. And so we need to define what Antichrist and Antichrists, Mm -hmm. uh, how does that uh, term work? From this, we know that it's the last hour. They went out from us because they were not really of us. And boy, there's a verse that's always used. Man. But if you know the Old Testament story, Mm -hmm. um, us, Israel, uh, and Israel, a, a remnant continues mm-hmm. uh, by faith, anticipating the Messiah, looking for the Messiah. The one you know that we're looking for has come. You know, you see this in the Gospel of John. You see this all through the Old Testament story. Mm-hmm. Uh, but most of Israel rejected. Uh, same lump, two you know, two clay, one for honorable use, one for dishonorable use. It's a, it's the same story. Not all Israel is Israel because not all Israel believe. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. um, every single story in the New Testament and the Old Testament is talking about Israel rejecting, but only a remnant returned. And so mm-hmm. uh, there's a remnant that, that's there. Uh, the, the, the natural branches are broken off. 
so that the wild ones could be grafted in. It's all the same story. They went out from us. They claim to be from God. They, these false teachers, these mm-hmm. Judaizers, these Jewish unbelievers, rejectors of Christ, mm-hmm. claim to have fellowship with God, claim to know God, claim to keep the commands, claim to have life, but they don't, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and so they went out from us because they're not really of us. If they'd been of us, they would have remained with us. But they went out in order that it might be shown they're not of us. And so they aren't us and we aren't them. And so who do you listen to, yeah. right? Clear distinction. Uh, yeah. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you all know uh, the, the, the Spirit. Uh, now, the Spirit's going to testify concerning Christ, uh, and, the, you know, mm-hmm. and to know Christ is to know the Father. But you have an anointing from the, the Holy One, that's the Spirit, mm-hmm. uh, and you know all. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar? But the one who denies Jesus is the Christ. This is Antichrist. And so if you want a definition of Antichrist, Mm -hmm. there it is. It's the one who denies denies. Jesus is the Christ. Mm -hmm. And the one who denies the Father and the Son. And so the one who denies the the Son denies the Father. The one who uh, denies the Father Mm -hmm. also denies the Mm -hmm. Son. And and so the the antagonist of there said, no, no, we don't deny the Father. We just deny the Son. And he can't do it. He's saying, but the Father's word Mm -hmm. is about the Son. Mm Mm-hmm. And so to deny the Father is to deny the Son. You, you, mm-hmm. you, you, you're, you, there, it's a both and. You, it's right. not an either or proposition. Uh, so whoever denies the Son does not have the Father. Uh, the one who confesses the Son has the Father also. And so uh, as for you, let that abide in you, which you've heard from the beginning. Uh, this, is, this is the same story you've mm-hmm. had the whole time mm-hmm. through here. If the Word abides in you, you will abide in the Son and in the Father. This is the same story. It's not a new story. So if you claim to be a listener to the story, if you claim to be a keeper of the law, that law, that word, Moses, the prophets, the Psalms, was speaking, it was the Father's word speaking concerning his Son, Christ. And so Mm -hmm. abide in that. Mm -hmm. Uh, And this is the promise which he himself made to us eternal life, that it is through the Son that you have eternal life. It's not through the law. It's not through the scriptures. It, the scriptures testify concerning the one who would come and give eternal life. And so to reject the father is to reject the son. To reject the son is to reject the father. Mm-hmm. Um, these things I have written to you concerning those who are trying to deceive you. As for you, the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you have no need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you, uh, about all things, or about uh, you know all, and is true and is not a lie, uh, and just as he has taught you, you abide in him. And so, uh, what is this? Ano- the anointing is teaching you. So, the the spirit uh, is testifying concerning Christ. And so, mm-hmm. if you're reading the scriptures, or if you come to the conclusion that Jesus is not the Christ, that that's the spirit of Antichrist, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, uh, what he's not saying is you know. Um, you know, you you don't need teachers. That clearly you do. I mean, John's writing right, to teach right, them, right? Right. Uh, but th- this isn't new. Uh, the The Spirit has always testified the same in the same way. the The words of the prophets, the words of the apostles, mm-hmm. are about Christ. Uh, and so, let that word abide in you and be be comforted by this, because mm-hmm. uh, he's John is writing to Jewish believers uh, so that they may know that they have eternal life. Mm-hmm. They have yeah. it. Yeah. They just need to know. Know it. it. Yeah. Right. Be convinced of it. Be mm-hmm. clear. Uh, and how are they clear? The the story's the same story. It's been told from mm-hmm. the beginning concerning the son. Right. And so the let the word abide in you. The spirit testifies concerning this. We testify concerning this. We're from God. You're from God. He is from God. Listens to us. Yeah. Not the world. Right. The world's doing their own program <laughs> and they Listen to them. That's right. right. The world listens to them because they're not of Christ. They have a spirit of Antichrist. Mm-hmm. And so it's really a, a, a pretty straightforward, simple letter. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you keep track of the uh, of the uh, of the pronouns, pronouns. Uh, then you, okay. you're you're in good shape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and now, little children, abide in Him, so that when He appears, we may have confidence not to shrink away from Him at His coming. Uh, if you know that uh, he is righteous, you know that everyone who does the righteous thing is born of him. And so what is the righteous thing? 
that you have to do to be righteous? What's faith in Christ? And that's what mm-hmm. we're going to talk about uh, yeah. next chapter time in three. chapter three. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have to pay attention to chapter three. I, yeah. I think we make it harder than it has to be, though. Well, simply and, because of things we don't know. Yeah, and 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 because we uh, of our theology, uh, th- we're not mm-hmm. translating things just right. plain and literally. And so right. we'll talk about that next time as and we then, get going. Yeah, and then you have to jump through hoops to make it fit. Yeah, and the, yeah, which so, makes yeah, no sense. Makes yeah. no sense at all. Yeah. Well, David, thank you for today, and I want to encourage everyone to continue uh, along with us in the study of God's Word. And again, we just want to help the people of God know the Word of God. But as always, we want to encourage them to gather together and be the church and thrive in that. So thank you for today, David. Amen. Thanks for listening to Teach Me the Bible podcast. Our desire is to use the power of God's Word to change lives. For more information, download our app. Join us next week for another episode of Teach Me the Bible.